Okay, in the first video we talked about logs, uh, the standard logarithm that has a base of 10. Let's talk about logs of different bases. So let's evaluate these without a calculator. And just like before when we talked about square roots, we kind of have to think about the inverse operation because I'm not actually calculating something in my mind uh, to get me from 2 to 32. What I'm doing is I'm thinking 2 to what power equals 32. And I do know my powers of 2 pretty well, so I know that this is going to actually equal 5 since 2 to the 5th power equals 32. So let's do the same thing with this next one. I'm thinking in my head 5 to the what power equals 1 fifth. And uh, this might be helpful to think of 1 fifth as 5 to the negative first power. So that means that this log has to equal negative 1. So log base 5 of 1 fifth is equal to negative 1. And then here's a little bit of a doozy. I've got log base 3 of the cube root of 9. What's that going to equal? Well, let's think about this in exponential form. 3 to the what power equals the cube root of 9. Uh, and still, it doesn't seem like it really is jumping out at me. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to rewrite this, uh, this, this 9, this cube root of 9, to have the same base as my 3. So that means that I can rewrite the cube root of 9 as, well, 3, or 3 squared by itself is 9. And uh, so that's like what this 9 is. And then I need to take the cube root of that. So this is equal to, uh, let, me, let me switch colors here, this whole thing right here is equal to this whole thing. And I could take that a little bit further and I could say then that this can be written as a rational exponent, 3 to the 2 thirds power. So remember, a, a radical, the in, index in a radical is the denominator of your exponent and then this number is being squared, so 3 to the 2 thirds is exactly the same thing as the cube root of 3 squared. And remember, this is equal to 3 to some power. This is what I'm trying to figure out. This exponent is going to get me whatever this is. Now that I have the same base, I can, I can finally evaluate this logarithm, and I could say that this is equal to uh, 2 thirds. All of these things you can check on your calculator as well, which I would encourage you to do. Um, to have a log of a different base, you uh, you can go to math and you can scroll down I believe to yeah log base and so I could type in my base let's go to the first example uh, or let's go to this last one since that's a weird one log base 3 of and then I want the cube root of 9 so let's see I can uh, maybe type in the cube root I got a cube root button there too cube root of 9 and uh, I think I got that all typed in so let's hit enter and we should get Two-thirds, that's great. So uh, here's a way you can check yourself on the calculator. But these types of problems, we should be able to evaluate without the need of a calculator. So why don't you try a few of these on your own, pause the video, give it a shot. All right, and here are my answers. Uh, this last one was kind of tricky uh, because I needed to think of, uh, I mean, I have this like this exponent inside of my log, but as long as you rewrote this in exponential form, a to the what equals a squared, then you can kind of see this comes out to be 2. So it doesn't really matter what this a is.